So this is my desk and I just printed out this G charger, so this wireless charger stand for the multi-board and I will show you a trick for beginners. If you don't know how to 3D model that the trick I'm going to show you is very useful. I know a little bit uh, on Onshape or SketchUp, but I'm not re really good. So I have this wireless charger for Anchor, and I actually found a model to hang a wireless charger on the multiboard right here. But the model I found was for a nine centimeter charger and my ch charger is actually 10 centimeters in diameter. So it didn't fit. And the, the file that I have for this stand is an STL file, which I don't know how to edit uh, either in Fusion 360 or Onshape or anything else. I just don't know. I don't know how to do it. But there is a trick for beginners and it's very useful. And you even notice that it's a little bit hacked together because this round edge here is smaller than this round edge. And I will show you why that is and what I did on the computer. So let's move over to the C and let me just show you how this all It's together so that the charger comes in here like that and then just slides right on here and I just I have to figure out the cable management later on but that's how it's mounted and then I can just put my phone like that here and it works totally fine so let's go to the PC and I show you how I model this from an existing model to this to my needs without any technical knowledge whatsoever it's it's quite easy in, intuitive so here man um at the pc i searched for power wave which is the charger that i have and there are some stands for it and i found this one on printables from who uploaded this Stefan thank you Stefan but this is for a different charger mine is bigger than this okay so what I did is I loaded this into an orca slicer I downloaded this model that I showed you and let's just import it there it is. And like I said, this is nine centimeters and I need a hole for 10 centimeters. So what you can do in Orca Slicer and pretty much any other slicer is add negative parts and add parts. And there you have some standard parts here that you can add. So if you add a cylinder, then you just can move it around and scale it like you want. So I scaled this again. My charger is 10 centimeters from one side to another. So I scaled this to 11 centimeters. So something like zero, zero, Let's do this again. One zero, one zero, and this one I think I used eleven. And then what you have to do is just move it around and place it over the model that you want. It, it's a little fiddly, so I don't know that if that's the word, but finicky maybe. Uh, you just have to be patient and put it exactly where you want. 
kind of to fill in the shape and once you have done that so you have to rotate it to be in the same plane as the other one but the the whole idea is you do it like a little child let's say it like that you just place the fill it in and then what i did is i added another part a negative part again a cylinder uh, and this one will be the size that i need so this one will be 100 by 100 by 10. The other one I did 11, so there will be one millimeter in the back side of this. And here again, you just rotate it and kind of slide it in where you need it. So this is a quick and easy, not precise way, but it gets the work done. So you just have that and that's a little bit of trial and error. You have to move the camera to see if you're in the right angle and stuff like that. But so in the end, I ended up with something like that. I had to cut out a little bit in the downside here for the cable to pass through. So I made another cube here for the cable. And I actually also cut out a little bit in the back right here because this is, is where it's going to mount. And then I have this disc uh, going past the place where it should. So I just have another two cubes here cutting out the parts that I don't want to have. And this is basically something anybody can do. And it's much easier to learn like Fusion 360 on our on shape of course, it's not as precise, but if you're just in a hurry, you just need to add something or subtract something for, from an STL file, then this works just fine. Uh, you can't scale this whole model up because you're actually using this part here to mount it on the multiboard. So if it wasn't mounted anywhere then you could just scale the model for the original hole here to be 10 centimeters but because i wanted to mount this on the multiboard if i scaled the whole model up this mounting system here on the back uh, which is kind of a dovetail wouldn't work anymore so this is why i did it that way and if you look at the sliced part this is how it came out. So the, 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 the cubes and the cylinders you ask it to cut out, it cuts out, it will, won't print. Then you can see how it's going to print the whole set or the whole model here. So that's it. If you like this tip, uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm new to 3D printing, but I'm making headway with my printer that I have for one month now. And I plan to make more videos here showing tips and tricks of somebody that is still on the beginning of the learning cur curve. Thank you very much.